2.4 Hashtag simply sang at levels of vibes Hashtag first TV 214A You are next, Kevin. All right. Um, all right. Uh, after watching the video, I will admit, yes, all three background singers in the video are talented and have their kind of own music careers. But the one that really stood out to me from Jump was Tank. Yes, yeah, he was one of the background singers, along with Shante Morn, Avery Wilson. Um, now I will see that, yeah, Tank in general is an incredibly smart man, he knows how to make his money because. Not only is he getting, well, I guess uh, a little bit from album so that that goes to all music artists. Um, he's getting a secondary income also, being a background singer for Baby Face. And yeah, they all get paid for that. And I guess that kind of 
somewhat fills in that spot. Um, because just with album sales in general, and when I say this, I mean any artist, they don't get that much from album sales alone. So, yeah, he from a secondary income. Can't fall term for that. It's like, yeah, do your thing, man. Making it. And, all right, now, I will admit, wow, years ago, because I was definitely still a teenager, I believe. At the time, when I first became aware of Tank, and yeah, I was in my late teens, but I was like, uh, yeah, <laughs> but it was just on point, and I'm fully, fully aware he's straight. That's just eye candy for me, to me. But, um, yeah, he's, like I say, he's making money from album sales, also from doing background vocals for Baby Face. And that's touring vocals. That doesn't even count. He's doing non-touring background vocals for any other artist. He's getting paid for that also. All right. So I will say that my initial reaction, they sang background this time coincidentally for Babyface at this particular event. But I almost feel like when you call them background, his background singers, it's like, they sang background, but I, I don't know if they'd be glad to add his, his background singers. I, I I don't know. It just felt like whatever. But, you know, it, being somebody's background singer is not a bad thing. Anyway, so let me go on with what I'm saying. Avery Wilson is born July 18th, 1995. And that's relevant because he is talented. And when I first saw this, as far as my initial reaction, I did not realize, like, this super group of people who just so happened to be singing background <laughs> at times, well, singing with each other in a group. Yeah. It, um, it was, first, I was like, is that Tank? I don't know. And then I saw something that said, oh, the woman is Shante Moore. And then I'm like, oh, that is Tank. Anyway, I <laughs> think they are exceptional. And as far as my connection, I rode with an Uber driver this past weekend coming from gym. And um, he was jamming some, you know, classic 70s music. And he was like, you know, they, they don't make music like this anymore, you know? And I interjected kindly and I'm like, I turned 40 today. I am 40. And I will say, as it relates to t classifying things as like today's music, people don't sing like they used to. I, I gave him the example of this Tiny Desk performance, because that's what it was, NPR's Tiny Desk performance. And they were exceptional. And I'm like, yeah, there are still people who can sing exceptionally well. But the music business is a business, and it has dis it decides what we want to want. Okay, mm -hmm. that's what it is, and it tells us what we want. And it's almost like the mu executives in the music industry are in a biggest D competition in terms of being like, you know what, I am going to hire the least talented person to make them the most successful star. In spite of the fact that there are extremely talented people out, other talented people out here, I will pick the least talented person, make them an extremely big star, 
And I can do that better than you. The ratio of talent to success, talent to success, I can bring the person from the worst of the worst and make them famous. Anyway, I'll save the rest for my one minute. Basic complexity, you're one squared. Yeah. All right. I like the way you worded that. Um, just kind of figure out how I was wording this. Um, and oh, yeah, was just saying that, but once again, Tank in general, he's starting to get his stuff in order and hey it's like do you think and that's all i have okay so for my one minute i will finish and say yeah it, it's it's almost like a biggest d competition to see who can take the least talented person and make them the most famous in spite of the fact that there are extremely talented people out there, extremely talented. Like, I remember when I was in school, like, the number of people who could sing their butts off in, in, in school, it was like, well, why aren't people like that famous? Now, I also realized not everybody who sings their butt off wants to become famous. And that's a dichotomy that I learned in as well because my minor was in music classical voice and a lot of times people who sing are trained in classical voice they don't want to sing pop music you know but there are still those who are trained in pop music and do an exceptional job anyway i also acknowledge that part of their benefit the industry's benefit of making this seemingly talentless person famous or making us like them is because that way when they be reach that pinnacle of success they won't be able to be like oh well i did this myself i want a new manager i want to leave you because i did this myself no they, they'll have to uh be humble anyway my one uh sentence is great talent is still all around but the industry decides who gets promoted mm -hmm. nevertheless indie artists today now have distribution power which is something mm -hmm. that they used to not have back in the day anyway mm -hmm. now my question for the hashtag verse tv family a verse tv family question my question for you, please leave it in the comments. Is complaining about today's music, today's music, a sign of older age? Mm. Like anybody who complains about today's music, like might you as well be like, oh, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm approaching retirement age. Anyway, oh my gosh, okay, whatever. <laughs> mm. Are you ready for the next topic? Liz do it. Oh, right. 